I'm working on that. Hi. Maybe Lou's right. Maybe there is a coordinated effort to throw us off our game. Maybe it's Finnick. Maybe it's the RNC. I don't know. What, what are you talking about? AP has a photograph of something that happened in Cleveland in your hotel bed. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? His name is Bruce. He's a flight attendant on Aer Lingus. They've got a connecting hub out of Hamburg. And at first, it was long walks along the Reaper <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Jeez. It's my job. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Cleveland? I don't understand what happened. He wouldn't let me in his room that morning. I should have suspected something. Box number three. Fifteen years I've been doing this. I've never been stuck in box. Is anyone going to tell me what happened? He demolished his bed. Demolished it? It was his wife's only night on the road. It was an old wooden bed, slats, hand cranks, what have you. Hand cranks? And what have you. Look, as much as I respect good craftsmanship, I'm still not clear about what happened. They broke it together. Get it? Wire photos out. Oh, my. Hurricane wow. Santos. You repeat that outside this room, and I'll have you knocking on doors in Alaska and not the urban part. Give me that. This guy. That guy's the next leader of the free world. I won't have us ogling his dirty, you know. The hotel proprietor claims the bed was steel reinforced. Hey. Congressman? You know, you guys got a job to do whether I like it or not, so I'm not going to pretend that the uh, afternoon naps and the bedside shrapnel don't make for good newspaper copy. So I'm going to address this once, just this once, and that'll be the end of it, OK? No way was that bed still reinforced. <laughs>